hello. Sorry, that was kind of a dumb first screen to see. How you guys doing? Hello. Hey, everyone. Oh my goodness. I can't even say how say it as, as fast. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Or good afternoon. Wherever you are. How you guys doing? Oh my gosh, everybody's here. Yay, all my friends are here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I missed you guys. Miss you so much. Um, so yeah, I just got back from Nashville and um, I sat there and said I was going to scope from Nashville and I kind of totally didn't. Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon. Hey girl, love you too. Hi Angelica. Um, yeah, so basically I was trying to think, why did I not scope? And it's probably because Amber took our phones most of the time. <laughs> we weren't allowed to have our, our cell phones. Um, so I wasn't able to get any, um, I think I did like maybe two from Nashville. Um, and that was, yeah, that was it. And I, I actually forgot again to wear my microphone. Can you guys hear me okay? You guys probably are fine. Um, I have this mic and I keep forgetting to use it. Um, but anyways, so... Today. So if you guys don't already know me, my name is Kathy Olson of Love Inspired, and we do custom websites and business branding for creative professionals. Um, and actually, after Inspired Coterie this past week, we're going to be doing some other things. Great, <laughs> great Periscope hair. Yeah, um, this is, I never do my hair down. I just realized the other day, I was like, I always have my hair up, um, but it's still not even done. Should I get the mic? Um, I was going to post it in the Facebook group, and if you guys aren't, aren't already in the Facebook group, oh, don't, don't I look pretty? <laughs> oh, just because my hair is down. If you guys aren't already in our Facebook group, inspiredscope.com, that's where um, all the nerdy Periscope people go. <laughs> Anyways, that's there. And I have the road, the lavalier. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure about it yet. So I haven't really recommended it yet because I just don't know. It's so hard to use. I, I mean, it's not hard to use, but I keep forgetting to use it. So it's hard for me to recommend something when I don't even use it myself. Um, so hold tight on that. Don't buy it just yet. I don't think you need it just yet. Not, ner not nerdy, cool Periscope people. I love Periscope nerdy people. <laughs> um, wearing your gamma rays. Yay, gamma rays. Here's my, here's my newest pair of gamma rays. I don't know if you guys have seen them. Inspiredscope.com. Yep, that's it. That's our, pair, that's our um, Facebook group. I could sit here and say hello to everybody for a while, but I want to um, make sure I get the content out quickly today. So inspiredscope.com. And these are, my, these are my safe scopes. And actually, this is my business. So love-inspired.com is my business. Um, but we're going to be doing some cool things for like some other entrepreneurs too, some membership site, cool, some cool stuff coming out. Um, so in the next couple months, see, we're going to be doing some amazing things. So I have three tips for you today on um, starting something big and sticking with it. Um, we talked a lot about this at the mastermind group and um, it's, I realize I'm a, I'm a very um, methodical executor when it comes to developing products and ideas. And if you guys have been following me for a while, thanks so much for the hearts, the chocolate hearts. <laughs> um, if you guys have been following me for a while, you've seen just in the past couple of years, I start, create, launch products and e-courses and stuff very quickly. Um, people think that, oh my gosh, another thing, and they're doing another thing, but I always see them through. And um, it is one of my strengths. It wasn't always a strength. I think that I, uh, periwinkle hearts, uh, I think that I really worked hard at becoming an executor. I definitely wasn't that way before. In college, I, I was that person staying up all the night before to finish everything and just throwing stuff, throwing stuff out. Uh, we're going to go <laughs> and call those Godiva hearts. Yay, fancy chocolate hearts. Um, hashtag fancy chocolate. But I, I realize it's not something that has to be a natural um, instinct and that you can learn it. So I wanted to, t to teach three tips today. If you're struggling uh, following through with something or if you have a big idea but you're afraid to start it, I'll have three tips for you today. So the first one is kind of obvious, but I have to obvious. it's so obvious that I have to say it. <laughs> and it's in uh, have a plan. So the first tip into launching something big and sticking with it is to have a plan. And there's also all these little pieces kind of that comes in under a plan. So I'm going to sort of go over them quickly, but let me know if you have any questions. Um, in a plan, you're going to want, number one, you're going to want a content plan. Thanks so much for the hearts. Um, and you're going to want to realize what the scope is. So one of the biggest parts of having a plan is not getting overwhelmed and kind of outlining exactly what you need, right? Not just, not the, this overarching plan. It needs to be very specific. Um, so content planning and scope, you want that, that's the first thing you want in your plan. You want timing and schedule is going to be in your plan as well. Very, very important. You want to give it a time limit and a time. Um, the third thing, of course, is budget and cost. You want to think about the cost of it, what you're going to need to um, hire out, all those different things, all the things you're going to need money-wise that it go into having a plan. Um, and then the, the fourth thing 
is marketing and launching. So you want to think about your marketing strategy, what social media platforms it's going to be on, how you're going to put it out there. Um, so those are those four things, those like sub items that go under having a plan. So content planning scope, uh, timing and schedule, budget and cost, marketing and launching, and those are all going to go in with number one, which is having a plan. Okay. Number two is make it concrete. Okay, so this is really important in following through and making sure that you get, you're having that momentum as you're going. So in order to make it concrete, you want to use actual dates. So you don't want to say, I'm going to launch this in October or, or sometime in the month of October. You're going to literally get on your calendar, right, and you are going to start writing in those dates. So you're going to say, by th on this day, I'm working on, you know, copy. On this day, I'm working on photos. On this day, I'm working on whatever. Like, you actually start schedule it in and that's really really important to do because people won't so true on actual dates yeah you you won't get the, anything done unless you have actual dates you have to go wherever you do your calendar whether it be Google Calendar or iCal or Basecamp or emails or Evernote wherever it is um, yeah yeah you are the period you you look at your color the color on your name and that's the color of hearts you are um, but you want to make sure that you wherever you use your schedule wherever you're scheduling use it and put in actual dates and times I mean even get specific you know from 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock I am working on this so that you have to make it concrete and so that's such a big step that it's not that's it takes up all of number two is that you need to make it concrete concrete and use actual dates times whatever however drilled down you need it to be but you need to work on it stick to it um, and then the third thing is really 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 important and a, a lot of times especially as creatives we just it's get that shiny syndrome you know we, we get very distracted easily um, which also kind of in turn, once we d get distracted and get down on ourselves, it's hard to keep going. Hey, how are you? Um, so the third thing is stay motivated. And guess how you stay motivated? You fill your feed, your newsletter feed, you know, your, the, your reading list, your audible list, your podcast list, whatever it is that, that, that input, that input you're always getting. You want to fill that with others that are doing that same thing that are just totally crushing it. So, for example, if you um, want to launch a new e-course, right, you are going to fill your day, fill your life, fill your, all your input with people that are launching amazing e-courses, right? Okay, so let's say you're, another example, let's say you want to, um, lose weight or eat healthy you're gonna fill your feed fill your you know start following people start listening to books start doing podcasts all that stuff of people who are fitness driven that are focused that are doing it right that are living that lifestyle doing uh, training for a marathon you know um, cooking light get those magazines whatever get like fitness magazines or whatever like stay motivated stay and keep that in your sphere so you want to always make sure that you fill up your day fill that input with things that are, are people are doing the same thing that are motivating you to keep moving, right? So if you if your your whole day is full of fitness, you're, you're gonna stick. Y'all are tripping. <laughs> um, why are we tripping? Um, yeah, so you, you want to fill your day with that, and that's going to keep you motivated, it's going to keep you on track, and it's going to keep you to these dates and, to, and, and help you stick with that plan. So those are the three. Hi from Thailand, how are you? Um, so those are my three. You guys like them? So number one, have a plan, and then in that, in that plan, you want to have content planning and scope, you want to have timing and schedule, you want to have budget and cost, and marketing and launch. So sorry, I had to, I was just joking, I like to see poll people's reactions when I say that. All right, well, that was my reaction. Um, <laughs> I, I almost blocked, but I thought, no, I'll give you a chance. Um, and then number two, use actual dates, make it concrete. Make it as concrete as you need to, get in your calendar, schedule in that time, make sure it's not ambiguous, that you have a literal time that you're working on each piece. And then three, stay motivated. Fill your world with people that are crushing it, doing the exact same thing as your plan. Not the exact same thing, but in that sphere. So for example, I said if you're trying to do, if you have fitness goals, then, then fill your feeds with fitness. Thanks so much for the hearts, you guys. Um, fill your feed with fitness, right? Fill your feed with um, launching a business or um, launching an e-course or a membership site. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad that you, that you said that. That means a lot to me. Um, so, the, so that is going to keep you going. That's going to give you that motivation. And you can have a partner or, or do you know the whole accountability. But for me, I get really inspired by seeing other people do it because then it makes me feel like, okay, I can do it too. Like this is doable. This isn't an unsurmountable task, right? It's something that other people are doing. They're crushing it. We can do it too. Hey, Anna. 
Hannah, how are you? Absolutely. We become who we hang around. Exactly. You want to input input with success and, you know, kind of just seeing other people do it. And it's also going to give you ideas too and help you, you know, strategize as you're doing it too. Oh, that was really smart. They did it this way. They marketed that way. They used their newsletter this way. So that's going to re really be helpful too. So was that helpful, you guys? I hope it was. Um, if you guys haven't already joined us in our, in our Facebook group, check us out, inspiredscope.com right here. Um, and these are some of my saved periscopes, just some random ones that I sort of picked. Uh, but I also have a catch, uh, catch.me account, and you can get the link from here. And we also have a cool webinar from here, too. So if you guys go, um, yeah, go to here, there's a webinar showing you all how to use Periscope, how to broadcast, how to get started, um, and giving you, you know, some positive encouragement to do so. So... Yay, thank you so much for all the hearts. You guys have any questions on this? Yay, I'm glad you liked it. I, I had to come back firing, right? I'm like, I need to get back into Periscope. <laughs> Not that I ever got out of it. Um, but I need to, to, you know, come guns blazing. This is I'm excited about everything that I have planned for the future for our business, for Love Inspired. It's going to be awesome. You guys are going to go crazy. Um, and I'm super excited about it. So have a wonderful rest of your day. I, actually, I'll probably see you maybe later today. I, I might do another one today, just a quick one. But this, boom, yeah, this is my big one. So... This is my big good one, juicy one. Oh, and if you guys, if you guys like this, would you, would you share it out? Um, share it with your followers and let them know. And if you thought this was helpful and and maybe know other people that have trouble starting things and, and seeing them through to fruition, um, I would love, I would be so appreciative if you would share this. That's awesome. Do you do messaging? What does that mean? Not, not sure what that means. Thanks for all the hearts. Yay! Flowing, flowing hearts. Love it. Um, you guys are awesome, and I'll see you later today or, or tomorrow, wherever I see you. Or, or I'll see you on, on our Facebook group, right? I'll see you at inspirescope.com. Brand messaging. Do I do, yeah, I do, um, I do coaching and I do website, I do custom websites and um, branding, like design stuff, but I also do biz coaching too. So that would, brand messaging would be a part of that. Have a great day. Yay. See you later. When are you doing your scope? You guys make sure that you're, that you're following Tomcat Studio. Kim's awesome and she's going to do some amazing scopes. So make sure you guys are following her. Um, I don't know if she's, I don't think you've done your first one yet, right? But um, she's like going to blow it out of the water because she's an amazing, amazing person. Um, so make sure you're following her and you guys love you so much from the bottom of my heart. Love her. Yeah, this week. Okay, this week, sometime. Follow her so that we know when, when um, maybe maybe on your newsletter or, some, or somewhere that you, or on Instagram maybe you'll tell us. Um, and Oh, Instagram's another place. If you guys want to see, oh, shop tour. She's doing a shop tour. Awesome. So Instagram.com slash love inspired. If you guys want to continue the conversation over there, um, Instagram. I love Instagram. Followed. Yay. Awesome. You guys are awesome. Gosh, there's been like 40, 50 people here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy's, I almost was done and the, without blocking somebody, and then I had to block somebody. It's a block party. It's all good. Um, all right, guys, I'll see you later. Thanks for the shout out. Of course, yeah. Um, see you later. Have a wonderful day. Get started, right? Begin. Use my tips. Use my three tips. And if you missed, watch the replay. Yeah, yeah, watch, yeah, no, no worries. Watch the replay. Give me, you can give me hearts on the replay too. Um, if, if you loved what, what I shared and if you feel inspired, that's my whole thing, right? Get inspired. So have a lovely day and I'll see you later. Bye.